only thing I would say about cutbacks to the arts is that my experience of artists and of being an artist is that it isn't something that is greatly influenced by being paid or by being subsidized or by getting a grant. It is an addiction, it is something you cannot not do. And therein lies the great weakness of the arts community when the government decides to cut back on what it's giving. If I was given all the money in the world, uh, the lady at the back who asked that question, I'd start with the education system, I'd start with a holistic system, not to somehow streamline into science, maths, but actually include arts and include all the art forms within, within a holistic education system. That would be my honest answer. Skip a generation and you see what can we create in terms of design, aesthetic, uh, innovation, entrepreneurship in, in, in the next generation. I have to tell a quick story first. The guy approached the uh, largest sheep farmer in Ireland a couple of weeks ago. Three piece suit, opened up the back of a Jaguar, and uh, said to him as he took over the laptop, If I told you how many sheep you had in less than a minute, could I take one of the animals? And the sheep farmer said, Okay, so he took the laptop and up went to an area, and then he zoomed into a rolling NASA satellite, and it just um, uh, sketched out the outside of the sheep farm. And on about 10 seconds left, he said, You've precisely 34,453 sheep started to take one of the animals, at which stage the sheep farmer stopped him with his big hand on his shoulder and said, You must be a consultant. And he said, well, why do you ask? He said, well, for three reasons. One, uh, you told me something I already know. He said, two, you charged me for it. And three, you know nothing about my business. Now give me back my dog. <laughs>